Let's switch over now as we look at TLT. So when I do my analysis, I always open up this type of a grid. This has the weekly on the left and the daily on the right. What I want to look at are the uh, a cycle rhythms and the momentum conditions in the market. So the first thing I'm going to look at is what are the longer term dominant forces? And that's on the weekly chart. This is really a very interesting one because you could see the cycle brackets on the bottom. And each of these dominant cycles, which is measured from the low to the low, is divided into four minor cycles. So these are kind of quarter cycles in here. And something happened in here. And what would normally be the final cycle or the fourth cycle that you see over here, aligning with the dominant cycle, would normally bring the biggest decline or what we call the period of risk. However, as this moved up, and this is our momentum indicator right over here, you see that green arrow pointing to the upturn in the reversal scout, that you know would normally move up, and then it would turn down again pretty soon, and you get this big sell-off potentially in here. But it lengthened in time and moved up through the 78.6% resistance, and that told me that something was changing, that the energies, which have been around for many, many years with very good alignments, now were shifting. And so I have this note in here that the cycle is shifting for our members there, and it moves back one full minor cycle. That means that the dominant forces really ended right over here, and that's why you see that shifted cycle with the dot, dots right there. What that sets up, and I'll just look a little closer in here, is a condition where the dominant resistances were met and it failed. The uh, momentum turned down here with our reversal scout, and that told me we're in a corrective phase. Now, this correction is likely to get support in here, but time-wise, you can see the note in here. Synced troughs end in March or April, so that our users know that the daily chart show that there are lows or potential declines into the end of March or the end of April. That tells me that this declining phase is likely to last that long. And then it tells me that this daily chart in here is likely to have not only a decline right over here, but also a rally and then probably another decline over there. So I have this noted as sell pending. In the meantime, you could see the very nice cycle rhythms right in here where the lows are showing up where they should right here and projecting out in time to the ideal trough here at the end of February. Or if I highlight this right here towards the end of March or the beginning of April. So that says that when it gets up into this area, it's a sell zone and that's why it's marked sell zone. So this is a short as far as I'm concerned. And remember, I said that I thought yields would get up in the 10 years to 4.4 to 4.53%. This is in line with that of a decline coming right over here. So this is the short-term decline I'm looking for. I think it's shortable now. You could see the momentum here on the slim ribbon where it is facing to the downside that turns these bars red. And you can see in here, the Slim Ribbon PO is red. You can see when it was green and it gave you all these resumption arrows right there, the market was just in solid upward move and the Slim Ribbon often gives support. Now you can see the Slim Ribbon giving the resistance right over there and in a declining mode, in a declining phase, as we call it right over here, rising phase, peaking phase, declining phase, and then the bottoming phase. So that says to me there's a decline coming in here and then probably a rally and then another sell zone which will be established through wherever this low is made right over here. So there are two opportunities in as far as I can see a very short term or what we might call uh, near term in here and then a rally and then another selling opportunity somewhere out over here. So that's a look as you can see as I look at the weekly here and I see the declining phase and the negative momentum. I look at the daily here. I see the declining phase and the negative momentum failures in resistance. It just speaks loudly to me that there is very likely selling opportunities like we just had still out there. And that makes this, in my opinion, a short-term short in TLT. In other words, we're looking for still 
some rising uh, in or increases in interest rates uh, on the short term, maybe out for the next several weeks.